what's up YouTube, close motherfucker here coming at you with a deck profile today. Um, the deck profile is a, uh, gadget, uh, offering gadget build. Um, uh, it's, uh, a build that, uh, Robbie, uh, was playing at one time, and then I put, uh, threw some personal stuff in there, and then I also threw some replacements for cards I don't have yet, so, um, yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna start off with the extra deck and um, explain some stuff. Um, but before the extra deck, the only real problem this deck has run into so far, um, for me anyway, is when I go up against Glad's or a mirror match, it's whoever goes off first wins. I'm gonna say for mirror match and Glad's, it's just 20 back row. Um, they have more back row than me. So, uh, um, anyway, um, extra deck, counter attack. Triple Utopia um, will change as soon as um, shit uh, as soon as I master hits ten for me because I'm a uh, not a high a high end player apparently. Uh, the the VR Dragon, Cataster, Android, Rhinac, Iron Chain, Barkion for lulz, Guy Knights, uh, Black Rose, Starthard. Scrap Dragon and your Trishulia. So, on to the main deck. I run in this deck six gadgets. I've played nine and found that nine gadgets is okay. I like six more than nine at the moment because I run, instead of that, I run uh, Trip Tengu. And reason for Tengu over that is the Synchro gets him out. So I run him as my ninth gadget, my other three gadgets. And if I open double gadgets, it's do, it's a less chance of me opening with double or triple gadgets. So yeah. Um, triple Striker. Um, great level two Cyber Dragon Tuner. Double Werewolf, and one Rush Rhino, which is where your TG stuff comes into play. And your last two monsters, my, again, my personal stuff in this build, Spirit Reapers. Um, I like Reapers. It lets you go into Leviar Dragon, or when number 17 comes out, uh, well, it's out, but it lets you go into number, uh, <laughs> Let's you go on the terabyte easy. It lets you go on the number seventeen, whatever, all that shit. But because a lot of stuff uh, right now gets banished or whatever, um, I go the VR more often just because people like to try to remove stuff, and then I can bring it back. Um, okay, for spells, we go double MST for back row. Uh, kill their MSTs and their stuff before they kill my offering. Um, the Rota, Surge's Striker, Reborn, and Avarice just kind of help more XYZs. My Red Dark Hole, my uh, Death Note, one Econ. Econ's a good, uh, Econ's a good card, especially with Tengu. <laughs> um, uh, Oppression. Uh, gadgets, you kinda need it. Uh, triple offering. Uh, it's offering gadgets, guys. Um, this should be too bottomless, but I was, uh, playing against a deck that, uh, Trap Dust Shoot was better for, I think. I, well, at least I thought it was. And it worked for a little bit. I think it was Fables I was playing. Um, but it's pretty good. Um, <laughs> but this should be another bottomless. I mean bottomless over that. One Torrential. Uh, and then I have one, Solemn Judgment, uh, Yamamoto version, um, check my other video, uh, posted right before this one, it's, uh, my uh, colored stuff, I have two of these, um, I kinda, I'm kinda loving this thing, um, I don't know why, it's just the old, it's just old man Yamamoto, uh, saying no, with Solemn Judgment, as a Solemn Judgment, so, yeah, um, triple what's for ruin, um, run this over, um, Okay, now this stuff I just love because, uh, they attack, you kill highest attack monster in the field. Um, so, 
boom right there, uh, no targets, and I'm pretty sure widespread run doesn't target, and uh, it's just, uh, great for getting rid of certain stuff, and because I don't have warnings, um, one mirror force, obviously, uh, compulse, gets rid of stuff, double true nade, uh, is the last card in this deck, and it gets rid of, um, back row, like MST and crap, before and their uh, solemn judgments and their uh, pretty much anything that uh, it pretty much helps me get rid of anything that can stop my offering is why I run two MSTs and two tornadoes. If I could, I'd run like five MSTs just to get rid of that, just to help get rid of that fucking back row um, that stops my offering, which is why I hate glads. <laughs> So anyway, um, that's the offering edge deck. Um, the one thing I was missing was the bottomless on the side, and um, the stuff I don't have for the deck. If you want to know what that is, that is um, off. That is solemn warnings, and I don't have dualities until the tints come out. So um, obviously dualities would probably work in here too. So um, have fun with that, guys. And um, the deck is fun even without the dualities. Um, the deck goes off. You can get everything off pretty easily. So, anyway, guys, thanks.